Hi, we have here a heat lamp. Um, don't know the maker of it, but I can show you it where it is in a GE catalogue. We're looking on this top section, 375 watts, and on the bottom entry you've got what this lamp is, it's a 375G30. This gives all the relevant information. Saves me talking too much. Filament arrangement is C7A. Clear infrared industrial. I'm lucky enough to actually get this off of eBay the other day. But I knew there was no name on it. Um, but, as you can see with the filament, it's never had any use. I'll get a bit closer. This is quite a good camera. I didn't realise how how good it is. Mind you, I've gone over the top there. There's the filament. Very strong support wires holding it. And the way the filament is held is by a normal clamping arrangement. Where the wire is the lead in wire is folded back on itself and crimped. Have a look at the other one. It's exactly the same. Look at it end on. As I said there's no etch on the top which is a pity but um, the catalogue describes it exactly and I'm 100% certain that is what it is. Put it on the white so it shows up. The base is Edison screw and it shows the extension, the, the material is like a blue glass, transparent or semi-transparent. This type of base was often used on the old heater lamps which were carbon filaments. They too were also, also round, circular. This has got a, a, a short neck to it. But um, the carbon ones were round and the same, same type of base. It was to reduce the heat, I think, getting through to the base. The instruction notes on it says that it's not to really be put into a holder that has a uh, the paper insert or a plastic or Bakelite holder so it would suggest to me that um, the best type to use would be the ceramic type. The life of these bulbs according to the thing is 5,000 hours plus. I haven't put it on, I'm not going to. Um, I would suggest it probably is not exactly a white heat but a little bit less than that so it gives out the heat but without the light and so it lasts longer you can notice the shield inside the heat shield very well made and quite heavy nothing much more to say about it well pleased I got it and it'll go with some of my other heat lamps. It was for uh, um, industry, so possibly a lamp which wouldn't have been sold readily to the general public. Anyhow, once again, thanks for watching. Oh, also I mentioned the book that I'm looking it up in. I'll show the front of it. Here's the General Electric catalogue and the year is 1985 so it's a few years old. Very handy book this is, it has quite a few 
Lampsy in there and um, it's very useful it gives you all the the base sizes the lamp designations what they're called what the types a filament layouts as well so all in all handy little book and the bases anyway once again thanks for looking any comments please make any questions please ask if I know the answer I'll get back to you so once again thank you